All right, guys, I know it's a little early in the season, but I've been itching to get it back outside. I got this for Christmas. I want to do a little quick video unboxing what's in this floodlight. I got a floodlight. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, so it's pretty much just a socket with a, with a plug on the end metal it's got a nice rubber gasket here stake for in the ground oh. and screws probably in there yep and the screws screw it together all right and then we're going to hook up this nighthawk led light it's uh, only 17 watts and it's supposed to be an equivalent of 150 watts. So we'll see how bright that is when we take it outside. Uh, I don't have any floodlights on the pond right now or any on any of my landscaping. So this is going to be uh, a nice little upgrade. All right, so there's the bulb. Rubber gaskets on there, that's kind of a nice feature. I'm screwing it in. Ball feels like it's well, it's some kind of hard plastic. There, looks like a nice tight seal. Keep the water out. It's got a nice thumb screw, and you can see right here there's teeth, so you can adjust this, you know, up and down and every every which way, and then however you put it in the ground, that's your adjustability. Anytime you can add one of these to your landscape, it's going to really add some drama to your outside world. So, all right, let's take it outside and see how it does. So as you can see, it's still winter time. The pond is frozen except for where I have aeration. Fish are kind of moving around down there. I don't know if you saw that. Um, but right now, this is all I've had on my waterfall is this one little tiny light right there. And it's one of those submers submersible lights that I spoke about in another video. They are awesome for underwater, as you can see. I mean, that's through the ice and you can still see the light, the, there's another one over there. Anyways, I put it up here to highlight my waterfall, but unfortunately above the water it just doesn't cut it for me. So that's why I'm stoked to put up this new spotlight. Even though my waterfall is not running, I don't care. I'm gonna check it out and let's see what we can do here. So like I said, it's winter time. I'm a little impatient. So I just temporarily hooked this up, but look at that. That whole thing is lit right up. And that's just one spotlight. So if you have another feature, like say uh, a planting or something that you really want to highlight, this light will definitely do the trick. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm picturing it right now, just the water cascading in the night. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm really looking forward to spring. Okay, so that's, if you set your uh, floodlight up, at an angle on a spotlight like that, you know, you can highlight a certain aspect of your landscape. Let's see what it looks like when we move it out further and try and highlight the whole thing and see if that has a different kind of effect. Okay, so I've moved it further out and you can see that the whole thing is lit up now. So it all depends on your taste and what you're trying to achieve, what kind of look you want to go, go with. I guess I have some decisions to make if I want to light up the whole thing or just feature the waterfall. I kind of like just featuring the waterfall and uh, put the accent on that because it kind of takes away from the, the pond itself. And yes, as you can see, my pond water is turning, well, it's not turning, it is a little bit green. Algae does grow in the winter. This winter hasn't been too harsh, so the algae just continues to grow. Anyways, this is an algae video. This is a floodlight video. So there you have it. We'll check back in the summertime and we'll put a little addition onto this video, but there it is, the floodlight. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy your backyard water garden.